Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about the state of Matt Luna fishing. What I mean by that is talking about some of the struggles that I've had, some upcoming tournaments I know I'm gonna to fish, tournaments uh, I'm not sure about at this point, and some plans for 2019. So some things that I do know I'm gonna fish this coming uh, season are the Wild West Pro-Am on Lake Shasta. Um, I haven't paid for my entry fee just yet, but I'll probably do that right at the beginning of January. The tournament's at the end of January. Um, I've got a place to stay and I've got that worked out already. So I'm for sure going up to Lake Shasta in January and fishing the Wild West Pro-Am. I'm also gonna fish the uh, 2019 One Bass US Open. Those are the two that I know for a fact that I'm gonna fish. Um, I wanna fish the entire Wild West Bass Trail season this year, but I'm gonna need some sponsor support. And one event that I don't wanna miss every year is the US Open, so that's one that I'm gonna to commit to as well. So something that I really need for 2019 in order to do all the Wild West events that I want to fish is I need a paying title sponsor, and I don't have that right now. I've been working really hard, reaching out to a lot of different companies, trying to get something narrowed down, trying to get a title sponsor, trying to get a wrap or whatever you know they want for their business. And I wanna fish a total of five, that's all four Wild West Bass Trail Pro-Ams, um, the fourth one being the championship, and then also fishing the uh, One Bass US Open in October at Lake Mead. Um, that's a pretty busy schedule for me. There's a couple times a year where there might be room for other events, but for my schedule, time off of work, and what I can afford to do, those five right there about uh, maxing me out. My reasoning for focusing on the Wild West Bass Trail events is because I feel like I get more tournaments for the same amount of money. So for example, with FLW Costas, there's three events, and those have about a $1,600 entry fee, where the Wild West have four events, and they have a $755 entry fee. So I can pretty much fish the entire Wild West season and get the extra tournament in worth the same amount of money as doing the FLW Costa events. So one of the main reasons I started the YouTube channel, the Instagram, the Facebook, all that stuff was to build a platform for me to be able to promote sponsors, to have a platform that sponsors would want to be a part of. That's a lot of the reason why I'm trying to build it, trying to grow it, trying to do as much as I can in order to be attractive to a potential sponsor because I need their help in order to achieve my dream of fishing professionally. I can't go about it on my own and self-finance everything. So I'm hoping to build a brand that, that companies want to partner with so that I can assist them in increasing their sales while they're assisting me in pursuing my dream to fish professionally, to fish at the highest levels that I can. So even outside of all the tournaments, all the sponsorship stuff, I do have plans on how to try to provide you guys more value to try to help you become better fishermen as I'm trying to learn and become a better fisherman as well. Try to share some of that knowledge with you and I have a few ideas on how I can go about doing that better. If you followed me for a while, you'll probably notice that I haven't done a lot of how-to videos or how to drop shot or how to Carolina rig, how to throw a crankbait, whatever. And that's been on purpose. I've specifically wanted to you know, build a bigger platform, build my experience before I try to teach other people how to, you know, be better themselves. Uh, going into 2019, I'm gonna try to do more of that how-to um, content. I have a few different ideas on how I can go about getting you guys that content. Some of it's gonna be YouTube videos, some of it's gonna be through emails. I've already put out some email content about drop shotting and drop shot line and hooks and stuff like that. So if you wanna be a part of that, make sure to sign up for my email list. There will, there will be a sign up link in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out if you wanna be on my email list. So I think putting out some how-to videos on YouTube will help me grow my channel a little bit. I think a lot of people use YouTube as a learning environment. YouTube's the second largest search engine on the internet. It's second to Google. So people are using that to find solutions to their problems. So my hope is that I can create more how-to content to help solve some of the, the fishermen's problems that are out there and hopefully grow the channel. Another way is I'm gonna try to develop an online coaching program. I have a couple people that um, I've communicated with that are gonna help me go through that process and building that program so that way when I present it to, to everyone else, you know, it's a more um, professional program. I want it to have good, valuable content 
for you guys to take part of. So that's something that I'm looking into doing as well. So I'm really excited for 2019 to get here. I'm looking forward to it. I got a lot of work to do um, in order for me to be able to fish the entire year like I want to. I'm excited for Shasta to come up right now. I'm going there for sure. I uh, had a lot of fun there last year. It's a really cool place to fish. It's beautiful up there. You catch a ton of fish. They usually are small fish, but there's big ones in there too. So if you can get a couple of those, it could be a game changer for your whole tournament. So even if I'm not able to land a title sponsorship that's gonna help me fish all these other events that I wanna fish, I'm still gonna be fishing a lot locally in San Diego. Um, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to travel, do a little bit of fishing out of town still, just without the overhead of fishing a pro-am tournament because those, those uh, cost quite a bit of money. It adds up pretty quickly when you have an entry fee and hotels and gas and you know all the different stuff associated with the tournament. So, so hopefully I can maybe get out to Havasu or some other lake and um, put out some content from somewhere else outside of San Diego. Um, but I'm looking forward to 2019. I got a lot planned. It's gonna be a big year and um, I'm excited. I really appreciate you watching this video. Please like the video, please comment on it. Please ask me any questions you have. I really wanna interact with everybody on my, on my comments. Um, it's really important to me to interact with you and answer any questions you guys have. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this with somebody else that you think might enjoy it. And just thanks again for watching.